Dear Cap over. Six furlongs, they're off. Oh, that just uh, restrained possibly leaving the stores. Highland Queen wasn't that well away. Gullen won in the yellow sleeves. Chester Le Streak on the inside in the red cap. These are the two that go on early. Chased by Tash Gill. Then Circo Loco in a red uh, in red headgear from Enderman in the beige and maroon on the outside, the gay blade. The leaders are tracked by Audit, Little Chance, Gorgeous General, Burtonwood in yellow and dark blue, followed by Ardat. Uh, Hurt You Never's well back at the moment, red cap over on the far side, and then Highland Queen out the back of the field with uh, only one behind, and that is the outpaced politicism. Gullen one, Chester Le Streak on the left, coming through between them is Tash Gill with every chance. They're chased by Circo Loco, Enderman is towards the right in the cheek pieces. Also coming through Burtonwood now. They run on towards the final furlong and Gullen one still hanging on in there from Chester Le Street, just crossed Tash Gill, then Burtonwood running on well, hurt you never from well back on the far side. Gullen one on the near side of Chester Le Street and Burtonwood and then Tash Gill racing with the line, it's going to be very tight. Chester Le Street in the centre. Might just have got there from Burtonwood. And then Gullen won and Hurt You Never on the inside, chasing them up with Tash Gill and a whole host of horses not beaten very far. It's officially a photo finish. It looked like the centre that Chester Streak had got back up, and, and that Evans has for Craig Lister and uh, Ocean McSweeney, five pound claimer. This side, Gullen won. Looked like the race was in. <laughs> Hi guys, um, I was delighted to partner Chester the Streak to his uh, first victory last night. He was very good and professional. Um, jumped well from the stalls and the plan was just to let him bowl along because you know he's got plenty of early um, gate speed and he just keeps galloping off that. So I let him lick along anyways and uh, when I asked him to go on about his job he, he put his head down and, and he was game to the line when the other horses come to him. Uh, he really had to fight hard. He did get headed at one point but he got back up in the line and, and galloped out to the line uh, very well. I was very happy with him. I, I still think there's more improvement to come from him. So uh, hopefully he can get his head in front again soon. Thank you very much. And I hope you guys all enjoyed it.